Borderlands 4. Now this game is probably the most anticipated for some in the whole of 2015. Is it coming? For sure. I mean, it's pretty obvious, especially to me, that Borderlands the pre-sequel was a filler, a way to continue to earn revenue in a year where they weren't going to release anything. A game which was so similar to Borderlands 2, it was basically more like an expansion pack. I mean, it had enough fresh content to keep fans engaged, but it was clearly a filler, just, you know, in the same way that Pokemon Black 2 and White 2 were tiding Nintendo over until X and Y released. I'm almost certain that's the case here. So, I mean, although a lot of people are still using Xbox 360s and PlayStation 3s, my personal belief is that they should actually focus on next-gen consoles only. Not only is this going to actually convince a lot of people to transition over, but it'll actually mean that they can concentrate their efforts on those platforms and make the best experience possible. I mean, there's been clear evidence in the past of games which have seriously had to sacrifice their quality just to fit the game on so many different platforms due to time and money constraints. Focusing on the next-gen platforms is going to make sure you have a totally stutter-free, graphically impressive and polished experience, and that's really what Borderlands is about. So in this video, I want to talk about the things that I would like to see in Borderlands 4. So let's begin. The first thing is a lot of appearances from different games. So Borderlands is a funny game. I mean, it's one of those games you can literally just sit down and have a laugh with. Some would say an evening of entertainment unlike any other humorous movie. I mean, the script on this game is glorious. And in a sense, this ties in well with lots of other game franchises. For example, previous expansions have had things like Minecraft references, you know, references drawn over from all over the gaming universe. But I think more integration and maybe even official partnerships with other games could actually make something really, really quite funny. For example, imagine having like a Borderlands and Disney combining together. I mean, you could have Kingdom Hearts, you could have things like Kung Fu Panda, you could have Toy Story, all that sort of stuff. I mean, you could make some really, really cool things. Even like movie recreations within the game, that would be really awesome. And then themed weapons, themed, you know, items, that kind of stuff. Brilliant. Now, this is going to sound a little bit strange, but my second one is weapon variety. So Borderlands, the first one especially, it was criminal for this. I mean, it claimed to have a gazillion guns, but when you actually realise almost all of them feel and look exactly the same, it takes a lot of the excitement out of it. This was somewhat improved in Borderlands 2, with a lot of weapons having special properties, and they just sort of feel and look different. But I think they could take it to a whole new level. In the same way that they've actually managed to create randomly generated weapons, they could possibly even make randomly generated effects, or something like that, you know, uh, rapid fire guns that spray bullets in a certain way or you know they shoot round in circles anything like that you know wacky effects all that sort of stuff really over the top things which are totally unnecessary but seriously cool to look at those are the kind of things that are going to please Borderlands fans you know really flashy effects huge explosions just cool stuff like that I mean things which give you a bit more freedom to play so the third one is something that's been kind of bothering me about the series it's something that I think the series could actually integrate very well if it tried but it's just not been done at all and that is the inclusion of some stealth gameplay. So the way Borderlands works is you literally just approach a group of, of enemies, start shooting one of them, and then all of a sudden every single enemy knows where you are, they come and find you and attack you. So every single encounter works out almost the same. It's sort of close combat, you basically just blasting a load of enemies. Whereas I think, you know, they've actually placed a great emphasis on snipers, especially in the second game. And that is totally underutilised, you know, being able to equip weapons with silencers, sneak around a bit, use your special abilities to actually infiltrate bases, that would be really really cool. I think that's something that they've totally missed out on it. I think that would actually seriously take the gaming experience to the next level. So I realise a lot of people will actually disagree with me on this fourth point, but I would actually like Borderlands to have a more convincing story. I mean, a lot of people just say that the whole point of it is that it's a total joke and that, you know, you laugh about it. But I actually think if they tied in some emotion, they actually make stronger bonds with characters, you could actually create a sort of all-round incredible package. I think that there's no reason why games like Borderlands can't have a committed story. I mean, obviously this doesn't have to be the next Final Fantasy, but at the same time, something that makes you care a little bit more about the characters and what's going on. Because to be honest, in all previous Borderlands games, I literally find myself just sprinting from battle to battle, not really caring what's going on, because the story was just pretty uninteresting. Now furthermore, mission variety. I think the, the Borderlands games so far have been very much either go to this place, find this object, or go to this place and kill this thing. They could do a lot more with this game. I mean, just be inventive. 
I mean, they could do things like try and scale this wall or solve this puzzle in this room. You know, things which maybe don't involve combat, but they could reward you in other ways. Now, something which is probably not really necessary, but something which I just think would be a cool little addition, is to actually have two active abilities. So we all know that each character sort of specialises in one thing, you know, like Mordecai has his blood wing and Axton has his, like, turrets, that kind of thing. What if you had two? I mean, what if, like, you know, you can actually... While using a turret, you could also perhaps summon something that helps you fight, or, you know, make an overshield, that kind of thing. I mean, you could make the more game more difficult to actually match this, so as not to give you an unfair advantage, but I just think it would give you more to think about and add more variety when you're actually battling. So my final thought is the possibility of interchangeable parts. So the ability to actually perhaps pick up things which you could clip onto weapons. For example, maybe a la laser scope, or a attachment that increases the fire rate of your weapon. This is going to give you even more customization, so you find a weapon you really like, and then you can actually improve it as you progress through the game. So yeah, I mean, this is what I think I would like to see in Borderlands 4, and to be honest, I can hardly wait. I mean, they did a really good job with all the games so far, and they've gone down a treat. Thanks for watching, guys.